Oh boy. Um, so I just got off the phone with that, the second mechanic I towed my van to, and for some reason, the warranty company did not flag that the mileage I've driven my van on did not uh, over exceeded the amount covered in the warranty. They didn't cover it at the first mechanic, and they were all the way up to willing to cover, um, you know, the cost of the transmission repair. And that was what they told me all the way up until the point where the mechanic told me how long it was going to take. And then I decided, you know, I can't wait this long, so I got to tow it to a new mechanic about an hour away. That cost me a ton of money. And then what I dealt with from that tow, and then the warranty company didn't. I mean, it was up to me, I guess, to understand the warranty completely, but the warranty company missed flagging that they couldn't cover the warranty all the way up to almost doing the repairs at the other mechanic. They weren't going to catch that, I guess. And then I told my car to the next mechanic and then they tell me that, oh, sorry, we miss, sorry, we missed the fact that we can't cover this warranty after I've been back and forth on the phone with them over about, um, you know, I don't know, like four or five times. And I wasted so much time and money and that's, I don't know, I'm going to talk to the Better Business Bureau or something and try to get some kind of money back because of, you know, I guess misinforming over my warranty policy uh, over the course of multiple conversations. Now I have to figure out a new solution. This is excellent. But I mean, if the warranty has certain stipulations between time and mileage, when I took it to the first mechanic and they're verifying if they can cover it, there's only two stipulations you need to check. The time is obvious. The One of the first things you should have checked at that first mechanic was my car's mileage and tell me right off the bat that my warranty is invalid instead of jerking me around and wasting all my goddamn time. That's point blank. That was one of the first things you should have checked. One of the only two stipulations. I should have checked it, but I went through the warranty company and had multiple conversations with them and they did not bring it to my attention. I believe that's within their responsibility and that's why I'm gonna to talk to the Better Business Bureau and try to get some compensation back. This is society, that's why I'm documenting it. I found um, a lot in Waco, Texas through neighbor.com where I can keep the van stored at a low rate and I could probably um, work out of it. Uh, but the motel I paid for for a week, assuming my van was gonna get work done on it, assuming that the same warranty company was gonna handle the, the situation at the last mechanic as they did at this mechanic, or I talked to them about th you know maybe three times at the first mechanic and they were not aware of my mileage and you know one of the major stipulations of the warranty until this is now the fourth or fifth time that either i or the mechanic have talked to the warranty company and they finally flagged one of the two major stipulations that revolve around the whole warranty granted that's my responsibility but i haven't been with the van in over a week or two weeks that I can't verify my my van's mileage and I can't verify, I didn't even have the warranty information with me. It was in the van. Granted, that's I guess that's my fault. I have to do everything for these children in society that are treated like adults and act like children. I guess when they don't care about somebody else. Um, but I didn't have the warranty information. It was in the van. I, I didn't have the van. So I couldn't check the mileage and I couldn't verify the warranty information. That was completely back and forth between the mechanic and the warranty. Um, and, you know, like I said, there's been like five conversations that have gone on um, between the three parties. And it took this long for the warranty company to flag that my van is over the mileage, which makes the warranty void. Um, so I've had to eat this motel fee for a week because they have a no refund policy and I paid for uh, a motel for the whole week. So I have to eat that. At least I found a lot to keep the van. Um, and I, at least I have a lot I can work out of and keep the van on for you know a long period of time at a low rate. But all the money I've had to eat in this whole process is exactly why I am so sick of being a part of society. Everybody takes advantage of everybody else. Nobody holds accountability for every anything. And everybody just tries to take everybody's money. And it is such a bullshit system. And I am so tired of it. And trying to get away from it and trying 
to not be a part of it and having it just continually shit on itself and shit on you and take advantage of you is everything, you know, every reason why I don't want to be a part of the society because it just sucks. And me documenting all this through this vlog is probably exactly what people need to see and be witness to because this is the kind of crap that just goes on nonstop in this perfect society we have in the United States. I have to waste time and I have to go through the Better Business Bureau and go through all of these receipts and go through this entire process and talk about how this warranty company was talked to by me and several mechanics. And it took about maybe the probably beyond the fifth conversation um, that the warranty company had over my specific situation, you know, probably seven or eight conversations in total between me and mechanics. And then they finally, um, you know, looked at my mileage rating and declared that my warranty was void after all of those conversations, after they were willing to basically uh, complete the work at the first mechanic. And the mechanic literally gave me the entire duration for the work and sent them the proof of the um, issue and everything and they were ready to work on it. And they gave me that whole misunderstanding, had me tow the car, had to deal with all the issues with the tow and camping outside on Memorial Day and getting soaked, paying a total of $400 for a tow that was meaningless because I was under the impression that my warranty was valid. Like this is society and I have nobody wants to answer to me. Nobody wants to fucking, you know, fix the situation. I have to deal with it. I have to fix it. And, you know, on top of that, like just the reputation, like even though I have to go through all these things and deal with all these things and correct all of these things as an adult, like I can't take it. It's just, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It can't suck anymore. I mean, I'm sure it can suck more. Like, you know, there's people in worse situations. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I try to do, you know, the right things. I try to put myself in the right situations. And I'm continually just have to deal with bullshit and bullshit and bullshit. And that's exactly how, the way that sounds, how irritating it is, is exactly how it feels. Exactly. If you ever have an option of having a car warranty from Car Protection Plus Incorporated, get a different warranty. Don't use them. They suck. Take it from the situation. That's the warranty company I've dealt with. The entire process has been, you know, how they have handled this. They flat out suck. And they have a good review by the Better Business Bureau. So it's my job to correct that because that is not accurate. And, like, just the fact that they took their sweet-ass time to, like, not check anything and not do anything correctly on top of everything. Oh, man, your mouth must be fucking full. You suck. I think if I ever get an opportunity, I really want to see if other countries' capitalism and the way they run their businesses are like this country. Um, or this country is, you know, just how the way it is. I really would like to see if it's different in other countries. Um, and it's for the better, Whew, man, I would love to find that out and, you know, go down that route. Cause this is, I can't say it anymore. Like just, if you had to be in my shoes, you can imagine what this is like. I, I don't know. Like you rely on people to do their jobs, even when it's like a warranty company or a mechanic or something. And where there's something that can go wrong or somebody can miss something or somebody cannot do something they're supposed to do, it is going to happen. And then, and then nobody wants to take accountability. And it's just, you know, do we have adults in this country? How many adults do we have? Do we have, we call people adults? I don't know. Is adult a word we can?